Today, we've got an exciting tutorial lined up. We're diving into the world of MetaTrader 5 on your iPhone. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just getting started, stick around because we're covering everything you need to know to master this powerful trading platform right from your pocket. If you don't have a trading account, check the description for videos about Open Ice Market account, as well as open a MetaTrader 5 trading account. Let's kick things off by getting MetaTrader 5 on your iPhone. Head over to the App Store, search for MetaTrader 5, and hit that download button. Once it's installed, we'll walk through the setup process together. Look at this sleek interface. At the bottom, you've got your menu with five buttons. The last gear button is setting. We will log in our trading account here. Tap it. Here you can see the list of your logged in trading accounts. You can have many trading accounts can log in any MetaTrader 5 account from any broker as long as its account type is MetaTrader 5. When you open a trading account, if you choose account type MetaTrader 5, you can use it in this app. Now tap plus icon in the top right corner. To add your account, search for IC Market, SC, if you follow my other videos to open account in Nice Markets, it would be Raw Trading LTD IC Market SC. Tap this and input your trading account information. This will be in your email inbox after open account. Notice to choose correct server. Then tap sign in button. Quotes menu. Manage your watch list. The first button named quotes. Now let's dive into customizing your symbol. Tap the edit button. I am checking all to remove default symbols. Then tap the delete button. Uh, still in the edit mode, tap the search box to add your favorite symbols. You can input symbol name or explore from the list. Tap green button to add your symbols. I tap US Tech, US 500, and US 30. Those are NASDAQ, S&P, and Dow Jones. Then tap cancel button, then back arrow button. Here's where the magic happens. Learn how to tailor your charts to your liking. Change timeframes, add indicators, draw trends. It's all about making those informed decisions. You can open chart from your watch list and quotes menu. Tap on one symbol, a pop-up will open. Select chart to open that symbol's chart. Or from the chart menu, select symbol's name, then change symbol from the list. Now is time frame. Top left corner is the time frame. Tap it to change time frame. Slide to scroll, pin with two fingers to zoom in and zoom out. Tap on the chart to open chart menu. Here you can see the symbol name and a list of buttons. Go to setting button to edit chart properties. You can change chart type and make trade history disable for the chart look clear when you have many trade history. Most of those properties are not important. I would explain in detail in another video. Back to the chart, open chart menu. Now select indicators button. Now I am deleting my current indicators with edit button, then swipe left to delete with plus button, add your favorite indicator. Long press on the chart to switch to edit mode. Eyes eyes indicator windows. Tap the chart again to exit the edit mode. Now is objects button. This is where you can draw objects on your chart. Tap chart to open chart menu, select objects button. There are some popular objects to quick selection and the add object button to browse the full list of objects. Here I am adding Fibonacci retracement and some trend line. I will make another video to go detail on this. If you want to modify object, tap it and move the small circle. Tap the center circle to finish editing objects or long hold object for open menu and delete it. Or tap on chart, open chart menu, select objects. You will see the list of available object. Swipe to delete it. How to open a trade. From quotes menu, tap a symbol you want to trade with. 
then tap trade. Choose volume and tap buy for long sell for short. Um, with just two buttons and volume are, are enough for open a position. I will explain other button in another advanced video. Now I tap sell for open a short position on US tech. In the trade button at the bottom center, here opening position, now I have one. Now to chart, you will see a sell position line on the chart of that symbol. A faster way to open new trade is in the chart, tap the top right corner button. Input the volume, the tap seller buy button right from here. First time a fast trade will open an agreement pop up, accept it, and now you can make fast trade. Called one click trade. I am opening two more sell positions to close a trade, tap it, choose close positions, and tap close one more time. to close all trade in one time. Tap a trade, choose bulk operations, then tap close all trades. That's it. Now go to history menu. You will see all of history of positions. If you have any basic question, comment it. I will answer in a new video.